Hey guys, today I'm doing a first impressions tool review on this Irwin door lock installation kit. I have a hollow core door I'm replacing the house I'm working on. And the one they wanted didn't come pre-drilled, so I was going to have to pre-drill it myself. And so I thought it was worth it to pick one of these up and try it out. They're about 20 bucks, so let's open it up and get started. This is a router bit for your Dremel to mortar, mortise out your lock set or your hinges or whatever. This is the guide. Looks like it just clamps on, slides on the door. Kind of a cheap plastic spring loaded thing. So I bet you I'm going to have to clamp this um, with a F clamp or a quick clamp or something to really hold it in place. You can set your setback from two and three quarters to blocks on both sides to two and three eighths, which is just standard doorknobs. And comes with your I believe that's two and an eighth. I haven't looked at the measurements yet. And you've got that for your latch instructions. Assuming this is for three and a half inch uh, hinge mortise, that's nice. This is your template for your um, latch plate. When you're replacing a door, always rely align the top edge with the top edge of the old door to make sure you get your hinges right because the bottom of a door is made to be trimmed to allow uh, ventilation gap and for just those odd things where you, the door rubs on the bottom. So the bottom of your door might be trimmed so don't be surprised if the door you buy is a half inch to an inch longer than the door you're replacing. Just line up the top edges and then trim the bottom once you get the hinges lined up. So now you just take a square and line these up. Once you get your hinge marked, just come in with your template. Um, the template's marked for three and a half inch hinges. These are three and a half inch hin hinges. As far as I know, with every door I've ever hung, it's always been three and a half. I think with a heavy duty exterior security door, it might be four inch hinges, but I don't run into that a lot with the residential work I do. So you line that up there, run a screw in, and see how that lines up with this screw right here on the bottom? That's going to be the first hole for the, your hinge mortise. So I ran this in with a screw, mainly to pre-drill my pilot hole. I just used a drywall screw I had laying around. I'm going to pull that out, grab my hinge. Now with my hinge, I'm going to put it in. And that's awesome. I've got the perfect offset of what it's supposed to be. So, so far we're looking good. And I'm just going to come around, trace the outline of this guy. Alright, and now I have my hinge mortise. And I can chisel it out, but I'm probably just going to put a half inch bit on my router and just route that real quick. I decided to go ahead and do this with a chisel for the first time for demonstration purposes. Most of the time, just with your palm router, you can route these out really quick and just follow the line. You see, whenever all this was done by hand, all your hinges were square. Now that everything's done with machines and routers, everything's rounded, so they don't have to do any of this work by hand. So even with my little slip, 
your router gives you a lot better, cleaner hole a lot quicker. And of course you might have to fine tune these with the chisel, but rather fine tune with the chisel than have to do the whole thing with the chisel. And I will freely get I will freely admit I am not as good with a chisel as I need to be. And the only way to get better with something like that is to practice. But that fits flush across. It's the right amount of offset. And then we're going to test hang it in a minute. My new door is about half inch longer than the old one, so I'm going to trim it down. To trim it down, I'm going to use my DIY track saw. Um, to date, that's still my most popular video. Also learned that these are called door boards. So measuring from the center edge of the old doorknob hole and lining it up. Your standard doorknob needs a hole of two and one eight. Slides on. Let's so make sure it's aligned, I guess. Looks like it itself aligns in the center. I need to put two screws in. I'm just going to thread that on. Self tightening so it won't come loose. So once my pilot comes out the other side, I'm going to drill from the other so I don't have a big tear out. So now you slide this guy off and have a really nice clean hole and I actually took it off too soon because I have to drill my hole there. So put it back into place and reattach it. So it took me a while to figure this out because the instructions didn't really say. You have your larger diameter template for the big guy and it just threads on there fine. And then this one's a smaller diameter, so it won't thread on there. I think there's enough material there to use the same diameter, but what do I know? Or just make this the smaller diameter. It shouldn't make a hill of beans worth the difference. So it threads off like that. I got this piece here, he set it to the side. And this guy will now thread on nice and easy. Now that the latch is bored, you take this template, has two little pins that'll fit in your screw holes. So it comes with this little drill bit guy. I guess you're supposed to put it in a Dremel. My little Dremel attachment is for my job max is broken. I need to go get it replaced. So I'm going to see if a drill will get fast enough to do that. So all in all, I think this kit is all right. I'm sure there are better ones out there, but for 20 bucks, it's definitely worth it, and it will find a place in my trailer and a place on future jobs when I'm doing this kind of thing. I'm not going to use it a lot, maybe I don't know, 10 times over the course of a year. I'll need this tool, but when I do, I'm glad to, I'm glad to have it. There'll be an Amazon affiliate link on my website where you can pick this up and help support the channel. First try.